Hi there, I'm Laura. Today I'm going to show you how to properly self-inject a dose of Dupixent, Dupilumab. You've already learned how to self-inject with your healthcare provider. I'm here to guide your first at-home experience. I'll show you what supplies to gather, how to prep the injection area, and how to inject the dose and discard your used syringe. If you haven't yet read the instructions for use located in your treatment packaging, pause the video and take a look. It is important to read all of the instructions carefully before using the syringe. I found it helpful to understand the plunger, syringe body, and needle cap before handling the syringe itself. It's time for me to take my Dupixent injection. Feel free to watch me and follow along as I self-inject. Take your medication out of the refrigerator. Never freeze your syringe. Remove the syringe by holding the middle of the syringe body. Do not use the syringe if it has been dropped on a hard surface or damaged. Do not pull off the needle cap or touch the plunger rod until you are ready to inject. Do not pull back on the plunger rod at any time. Keep Dupixent syringes and all medicines out of the reach of children. If you have an unused syringe, return it to the refrigerator in the original carton to protect it from light. Check the label to make sure the medication inside is correct and the expiration date has not passed. If it isn't right, contact your pharmacy. You may see an air bubble. This is normal. Do not try to get rid of any air bubbles. The liquid inside should be clear and colorless to pale yellow. Do not use the syringe if the liquid is discolored or cloudy, or if it contains visible flakes or particles. Throw away, dispose of the used Dupixent single dose pre-filled syringe right away after use. Lay the syringe on a flat surface and let it naturally warm to room temperature for at least 45 minutes before injection. Do not heat the syringe. Do not put the syringe into direct sunlight. Do not keep Dupixent at room temperature for more than 14 days. Throw away, dispose of any syringe that has been left at room temperature for longer than 14 days. If you need to permanently remove the carton from the refrigerator, write down the date of removal in the space provided on the outer carton and use Dupixent within 14 days. Do not shake the syringe. While you wait, gather the additional materials necessary to self-inject. You need one cotton ball or gauze, one alcohol wipe, and a puncture-resistant Sharps disposal container. Now, take your supplies to an area where you can sit comfortably. When you are ready to get started, wash your hands thoroughly. Choose your injection site. Both the stomach and thigh are acceptable, except for the five centimeters around your belly button. If somebody else gives you the injection, the outer area of the upper arm is also an option. The person giving the injection should follow the same preparation procedure. Be sure to choose a different site each time you inject Dupixent. Do not inject through clothes. Do not inject into skin that is tender, damaged, or is bruised or scarred. Clean your skin with the alcohol wipe. Do not touch the injection site again or blow on it before the injection. Let your skin dry before injection. Hold the syringe in the middle of the syringe body with the needle pointing away from you and carefully remove the cap from the syringe. Do not use if the needle cap is missing or not securely attached. Do not put the needle cap back on. Do not touch the needle. Inject the medicine right away after removing the needle cap. Pinch your skin at the injection site. Pinching your skin helps the medicine go into a fatty layer just below the skin and not into the muscle. Take a deep breath. Continue to pinch as you insert the needle completely at about a 45 degree angle. Relax your pinch. Push the plunger down slowly and steadily as far as it will go until the syringe is empty. It's normal to feel a bit of resistance here. Keep pressing the plunger down and remove the needle from your skin at the same angle it was inserted. Do not put the needle cap back on. Once the needle is out of your skin, lift your thumb to retract the needle up into the needle shield. Dispose of the syringe and needle cap in the Sharps disposal container. Follow your local guidelines and ask your healthcare provider for the appropriate way to dispose of the container once it is full. Do not dispose in household trash. Do not reuse the syringe. If you see any blood at the injection site, gently pat it away with your cotton ball or gauze. You can also cover the site with a bandage. Do not rub your skin after the injection. 
If you would like to practice before doing the actual injection, and you have received the Dupixent training kit from your doctor's office, you can practice the 45 degree injection angle with your training syringe, and you could always watch the video again. Contact your healthcare provider with any questions Be sure to keep track of your injection date and site. Thank you for joining me today. Remember, you can rewatch this video as often as you like to refresh your memory.